I kind of fall in love with UNESCO, I must say. Written in a youthful spirit and with a youthful ambition, like sky is the limit. UNESCO was one of the great violinists, but it is overshadowed that he was a great composer. A dream of mine for a long, long time to realize this UNESCO Octet project. Extremely happy to be able to unite in this music at this incredible, beautiful Schloss Elmau. Rebel, very passionate and very clever. I have been shocked by the beauty, the purity and the freshness of this guy. I think he was one of the most magical musical voices actually of 20th century music. It's for me a piece of uh, a genius, really. I respect so much this composer for what he brings to the violin, but also for uh, harmonic language and uh, chamber music. We all know the fact that Mendelssohn was composing his octet at the age of 16 years old. And when UNESCO started this project, he was 17, he was 19 when it was completed. It's almost like a symphonie fantastique for a string octet. So it requires a soloistic aspect from, from everyone involved. It's a huge responsibility from each and every part. <laughs> I think musically it's more interesting to like ti da 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 you mean the one uh, five, five before twelve? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> was too much. To Old but young and fresh but. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. yeah. Simple but. <laughs> it's very enjoyable the recording process, which doesn't feel like what you would think of a recording. It's very important, let's get very serious. On the contrary, let's be more free, let's be more inspired, as it should be actually always. And uh, that's because there are so many individual people, I would say, with the same philosophy towards music and the same attitude and devotion. Mm -hmm.